Okay, this is the couch burden stitch and it is couching. So we are going to start by laying down the threads that we want to couch. And I just drew some lines for guides. You don't have to do that. I'm just trying to keep mine squared up and I don't want to make this too big because I don't want to have to fill it all in. So do at least four lines for practicing. You can switch thread colors if you want, or you can use the same color. We are going to come up on the right side, right above the top line. We're going to go straight down from that to right above the line below it. And then we're gonna move over slightly to the left and you can decide how far apart you want these spaced. You can have them spaced open wider so that the fabric shows through, or you can have them close together so that you can't see it. So I came out above that top thread again. I'm going straight down from that and going in right above the next thread down. And here on out, I'm going to try to keep my spacing fairly similar, but you wouldn't have to if you're going to an art for an artistic effect, you could vary that spacing. So I came out above that top line of thread. I'm going straight down above the next line of thread and I have to be careful or I start pulling my laid threads out of square. Again above the top thread straight down above the next thread and we're just going to work this like this all the way across keeping your same spacing so above the top thread and then down right above the thread below it. So just these stitches all the way across and I'm not going to make you stay on the camera and watch me do this. Once you've worked to the end of that row you're going to turn your work 180 degrees and I have changed thread colors so that hopefully you can see the difference between the rows. I'm going to come up going to skip one laid thread and I'm going to come up right below the next one up from the row that I just worked. And now I want to stagger my stitches so that I come in between the stitches I did at first. So I'm coming up directly below that row or that laid thread. And then I'm going to go down all the way to right above that first one that I went over. So I'm crossing over one in the middle and I'm coming up inside the other two. And then I want to, I want to keep just the same spacing all the way down, up, below that stitch. I'm crossing over one in the middle and I'm coming down right above the laid thread on that row. Again, so I'm inside two lines and crossing one in the middle. So just inside that line or below it, crossing over the middle one and then inside the one that I've already crossed over. And I'm just going to work this all the way down. Now this is what we do for any rows that are between the two outside ones. It doesn't matter how many they are, you would just keep repeating this until you get to your outside, your last row. And then we'll do basically the same thing as we did on the top row. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this row off camera. So I finished that row and once again I'm going to turn my work 180 degrees and I have switched thread colors again. You do not have to do that. I'm going to come up below this stitch that I crossed with the previous row. So it would be right below my first stitch up here. I'm going to cross the thread that's in the middle and go down right above the next thread. So I'm only crossing over one. I'm going to go back up again. I'm below this line, 
crossing over the middle one and going in above the one below. Again below that line that I crossed in my last row, over the next one stitch and then going down right above the laid thread that comes up next. It doesn't matter how many rows there are. It's always you're always crossing one in the middle and coming in below the one that's above it and above the the thread that's below it. So we're staying inside two lines and crossing one. And again, we're trying to keep our spacing consistent. At least I am for this one. That is completely up to you if you are trying for a different effect. So I will finish this row off camera and then I'll come back and show you how to finish it up no matter how ro many rows you had when you get down to your last laid thread. Okay, however many rows you're doing, when you get to your final row, um, because of where I stopped, I'm rotating again. I'm going to come in right above, or if you were working from the bottom, right below my last stitch, just like we did up here on the top. And I'm going to take it down right above the next stitch. So I'm doing kind of a partial. So right above my outside laid thread. Go straight down, right above the next laid thread. So right above the top one, and right above the second one down. And again, you will just work exactly the same thing all the way across and when you get to the end you'll take your thread to the back and and finish it off so depending on the threads you choose and if you change colors you could get a shaded effect with this That is the couched burden stitch.